Hi guys, I am Bonnie Malbuz. Thank you again for watching the Real Deal Cooking Channel. Today I am going to make mushroom ravioli using a duxelle and a port reduction. An easy to follow step recipe, delicious and beautiful. Dry mushrooms such as porcini are widely used in the restaurant business. These are great flavor enhancers. Give button mushrooms, champignons de Paris, a quick wash, drain and pat dry. Then trim off bottom stems, cut in four and throw them into the food processor. Pulse a few times until finely chopped but not pureed. Do not overcrowd the food processor, but rather make a few small batches. Do you know that button mushrooms contain as much antioxidants as expensive ones? Good to know. Look at these beautiful came back to life porcini. Drain them and chop and add to the duxel and save this intense mushroom broth for the sauce. Next, we need to chop some parsley for the plating. Next, the shallot port wine reduction, which will be mixed with the mushroom duxel later. To peel a shallot, by the way, I like to cut it in half first, then trim off the stem and remove the peppery layers and mince. In a medium skillet, melt butter and cook shallots and crushed garlic for about 5 minutes on low heat or until fragrant. No color needed. It should remain translucent. Then deglaze with the ruby port wine and reduce to dry. Discard garlic and set aside. Meanwhile, in a hot and large skillet, saute duxel and chopped porcini for 10 minutes on high heat. It's going to render lots of moisture, then season with a tiny bit of salt and finish cooking in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven, wine 80 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. So you will end up with this, a perfectly roasted and dry mushroom duxel. Now transfer duxel into a large bowl, mix in shallots, parmigiano, ricotta and season to taste with with salt, ground black pepper and a dash of truffle oil. Optional though. Then refrigerate your mushroom stuffing before using. It can keep refrigerated for up to 5 days. So for the sauce I am going to reduce my chicken stock with my mushroom stock. Throw in a couple of parsley stems and thyme and reduce by half. Strain it and keep warm. We are going to add something else just right before serving. As you know, I like to make my own pasta dough from scratch. For hectic schedule though, I do have the answer. Wonton wrappers. To make ravioli, brush a little water or egg wash around the edges of the wrapper and pipe out 1 ounce 30 grams of filling. You have to put a fair amount of stuffing in order to achieve what you are looking for. You need a plump and well sealed ravioli at the end with no air pockets. You want to seal each side against each other. So at the end, this is what you get. It looks like the tip of an arrow. So this recipe makes about 22 raviolis and you can keep them in the fridge for about, I would say, three days. It works just like fresh pasta. So I'm going to cook them in salted boiling water for about three minutes. And you can steam them as well as you would do for dumplings. Keep warm. Next, for the chicken mushroom sauce, bring to a boil, melt in butter, remove from the heat and blend. By adding butter into my sauce and then blend it, it's going to incorporate some air, make it lighter and foamy. Wow, that's remarkable. Now the fun, plating. And for an elegant appetizer plating, arrange three ravioli per plate. Add the sauce, a drizzle of olive oil, parmesan shavings, fleur de sel, ground black pepper, and parsley. Enjoy. To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net.
Wow. Mm. <laughs> Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this mushroom ravioli episode. Please subscribe, it's free. Like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and what? Pinterest. You got that right. See you next time.